Hey guys, Tommy here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase is my go-to platform for getting into cryptocurrency, you know, from your traditional banking system. Uh, it's the biggest on-ramp into cryptocurrency, I'd say. So it's very good to know how to use this. If you're new to cryptocurrency, uh, this is what you need to set up. Uh, a lot of, I've showed this to, you know, a dozen people in the past month or so. So I figure I should just make a video for this. So anyway, so uh, first thing is use a referral link and I'll put my referral link below. And the reason is, uh, or just look for it in the description section, it'll be right there. But if you use a referral link, the benefit is you're going to get $10 of free Bitcoin. So not a ton, but better than getting nothing. So use that. So uh, you just go to uh, essentially click on that link. It's gonna take you here. It'll say, Tommy invited you to try Coinbase. Uh, put your first name, last name, uh, email and password. I just filled this out already. Uh, and then click on I agree and click sign up. And we'll just wait for this to go through. Okay, of course, next you have to verify your email. So you'll jump into your email inbox. I'm just using a temporary email address because I already have an account just to show you how it works. So you click on verify. And then most of you guys will be an individual. You'll click next. And I'm not gonna set all this up, but I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to do it. You'll wanna put your phone number in as well as some other information. And I'm gonna expand on that in just a minute. But when you go into your account here, uh, you can see, you scroll down and you can see the different things you need to do to set up your account. You need a payment method, you need to add your phone number and you need to verify your identity. I would do all of these things because they are going to First of all, you of course need a payment method and you need to do the phone number. Uh, verifying your identity is gonna increase the amount of cryptocurrency you're gonna buy. You'll probably wanna do that. I'll expand on that a little bit more in a minute. Uh, one thing I wanna tell you guys too is, on the phone number, it used to be that you add your phone number and it sends you a text message and you just verify it that way. But uh, they're changing the system to do uh, two-factor authentication through Google Authenticator. So let me explain this a little bit. Uh, the reason why they do two-factor authentication, it's a technology that different websites such as Gmail, other account logins are doing. They're doing this because if someone gets your password, they won't just be able to log into your account. They need your password and your phone number. So that's what two-factor authentication is. So uh, I had to help uh, one of my family members set it up and they prompted them for that. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what, a little more on two-factor authentication, just so you guys are prepared for this. Um, so again, when you're setting up your account, if they prompt you to do the two-factor authentication, it's really easy. Go into your app store, whether you have an iPhone or an Android, download Google Authenticator, the logo looks like this. You're gonna tie that to usually like a, a Google account. Once you set up your Google account or the Google Authenticator with your Google account, it's gonna give you a screen like this. You just click on the plus sign here in the top right, and then uh, this is happening on your phone, of course, because you download the app on your phone. And then you'll be able to, it'll look like taking a picture, but you're basically gonna scan your screen. Um, it'll, it'll give you an option to basically scan this barcode on your screen. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys what that looks like. I want to make this, I, want, I really want to make this clear for you guys. Uh, QR code. It'll give you a barcode like this. This is called a QR code, uh, kind of a more advanced barcode. So you'll scan this and then it knows, it basically ties uh, your Google Authenticator to your Coinbase account. Uh, oh, going all over the place. Let's jump back here. Okay, so anyway, so you'll wanna get that two-factor authentication set up sooner or later. Again, this makes it so if someone manages to get your password, that you can log into your account, that they cannot log into your account unless they had your phone too. So just, a, again, it's a more secure uh, form of protecting your funds in here. On that note, I wouldn't recommend leaving much money on, on uh, any online exchange, and that includes Coinbase. But we can work on more advanced security measures in the future, in this video, I really wanna help you just get set up and get going. Okay, so uh, once again, get all these done, add payment method, add phone number, verify, verify your ID. 
uh, and then you'll be up and running. Uh, and now I'm just gonna jump into my existing account to show you what it looks like when you've done that. And so when you log in, this will be your dashboard. Uh, it, right now, uh, Coinbase has Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. It used to just have Bitcoin. They added Ethereum, uh, I wanna say uh, like a year ago or something. And uh, Litecoin, uh, they added just very recently. So right now, if you don't know what's going on in Bitcoin, there's basically a civil war going on. And so Bitcoin transactions, Bitcoin's having a big problem. Uh, they're hitting a transaction limit on how much they can handle. So basically the capacity is overwhelmed. The system's overwhelmed. So for that reason, I would recommend buying Ethereum uh, rather than buying Bitcoin. Uh, you can turn Bitcoin into Ethereum or vice versa relatively easy on most major exchanges. And I'll show you that in another video. But for getting started, I think Ethereum is a better bet there. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do I buy and sell Bitcoin or Ethereum? Um, and it's done right through here. You can buy and sell it. And they both function very similarly here. So let me see here make sure I'm, I'm covering everything. Uh, yeah, so you want to buy the Ethereum. And then if you want a different cryptocurrency that's not Bitcoin or Ethereum, you'll move that to another exchange or you can exchange it for another one. And I'll show you guys that on another video that um, I'll do sometime soon. But for now, this is really just a video to get you guys going who need to get going. So uh, on that note, if you guys want to know my two favorite exchanges to use for other cryptocurrencies would be Poloniex and Bitrix. These are my go-to exchanges uh, for trading cryptocurrencies. You can see here there's a, a whole list of cryptocurrencies. Poloniex has around 100. Uh, Bitrix has uh, maybe more than that. They've got Bitrix tends to have the smaller ones and Poloniex has the, the major cryptocurrencies. And just to build on that, because I know uh, I know some of you guys may be very new to this. There's a lot of cryptocurrencies out there. Uh, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies. CoinMarketCap.com is my go-to site that I go to to check on how they're doing. So this lists them in ranking of market cap. You know, here at Bitcoin, Ethereum, which is looking like it's going to start start to pass Bitcoin soon, and just a whole list of cryptocurrencies. This is the top 100. I think they list uh, almost a thousand here. Here we go, 753 on this site. So you'll use exchanges like uh, Poloniex and Bitrix to turn your uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum into one of those other ones if you wanna do so. But again, that's a more advanced thing for now. Uh, I would say just start with Ethereum. Okay, so let's move on to the buying and selling. So if you wanna buy and sell, obviously click on this tab and here it gives you your options, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, we'll, we'll select Ethereum, so we want to buy Ethereum. Uh, you've already put in your bank method now, or go ahead and do so uh, after this video. If you haven't, you know, you should use your bank account typically, and you'll have a weekly limit. This weekly limit, when you do all the verifications, without the verifications, I believe it's around $200 a week, which is really not much. That's why you want to do those verifications I mentioned earlier. If you do these verifications, it should up it to about $2,500 uh, and then when you start using Coinbase, they can increase that limit for you. So uh, mine's currently at 25,000. So let's say you wanna buy uh, some Ethereum. You just put the number in here, say $100, and then you can buy it. Now here's an important note. Uh, Coinbase has an instant buy and a buy that takes, say about a week. So the, the way this works is Coinbase is conscious of their security, so they don't want to overextend themselves, especially if they have a new relationship with you. So for me, they allowed me to buy up to $2,000 of, oops, what does it say, $201? Uh, I believe it's $2,000 of Ethereum instantly. Yeah, okay, anyway, up to $2,000 of Ethereum instantly or so. Uh, and if I want to buy more than that, it's going to take longer to get in my account. So how does that work? Well, the Ethereum price right now is $389. So if I bought, say, $20,000 worth, not $200,000, uh, 
it's gonna take about a week to get into my account. This locks in the price uh, at today's price and I would buy it, but it would take about a week to get into my account. And just to boot here too, you can see their fees. Uh, it's about 1.5%, I believe. So uh, if you're buying a lot, uh, the fees can add up or for any smaller figure. It's, it's a pretty decent cost for getting into it. Okay, so that's how you buy it. And once you buy it, again, uh, you'll either have it instantly in your account, which will show up on your dashboard. Here it shows your portfolio. Uh, or if it's, again, a larger buy, it can take up to a week to show into your account. Uh, and of course, you guys can see here, I don't keep much cryptocurrency on my Coinbase. Again, as I mentioned to you earlier, you really don't want to keep a lot of money uh, on any online exchange. The safest way to hold cryptocurrency is for you to have your own private wallet and manage it yourself. Because then, because the problem is if an exchange gets hacked or something, you would lose your funds. And this has happened numerous times before. It's the same for Coinbase as it is for Poloniex as it is for Bittrex. Uh, that's a little bit more of an advanced thing, but keep that in mind. You do not want to keep your money in exchanges for a prolonged period of time. You really want to learn how to move it out. It's not that hard to do, but that's like a next level thing. So just get started for now. You can work on that, you know, within the next week or two or a couple of weeks after you get going. Okay, so, so that's the buying. Uh, selling works just like buying, it's the reverse. Uh, click on sell, and then you click on your wallet, whether it's Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, just click on Bitcoin, deposit it to the bank you wanna use, and put the amount you wanna sell, whether it's in dollars or Bitcoin. If you know you wanna sell one Bitcoin, just put one Bitcoin there. I don't have one Bitcoin, so it won't fill it, but it will auto-populate the dollar amount too. Uh, and then you can, you can toggle an option to repeat this sell. Uh, I don't use those options, but maybe it's useful for you. All right, and once again, you do not wanna keep your money on the online exchanges or any online service, if at all possible. And so I made a video in the past on where my favorite Ethereum wallet, and that is my Ether wallet. Uh, I made a video how to use it. This is their site, but you're actually gonna download it and use it locally. That's the smart way to do it. So see that video that will also be in the description below on how to use that okay now that you guys know how to buy and sell bitcoin and ethereum the next thing to know is how to send it to someone or to send it to yourself on an exchange and so this is really easy to do in coinbase just just click on the send tab right here uh, you're going to put the bitcoin uh, or ethereum address in here uh, you can of course select the different wallet if you're using ethereum uh, Bitcoin addresses always look the same. They look something like this. Uh, they always start with a one. And Ethereum addresses look similar. They always start with a zero and an X. So a good thing that I like to do, here's again another example, is just look at the first two characters and last two characters, make sure those match, double check those uh, wherever you're sending it to. Just put, put the address in there, put the amount in here, and then just go ahead and click send funds just like that. Uh, sends are typically instant, and let me explain that. Those, they get broadcasted uh, immediately, but it could take some confirmations for the money to arrive on the other side. This is just a mechanism to ensure that, uh, that it was a legitimate transaction and that no one's trying to duplicate it. It's just how the Bitcoin, how cryptocurrencies tend to work. So just so you guys know that. So you should be able to expect the funds to come out on the other side. And Bitcoin, usually for most places, uh, would usually take an hour. Um, but that's, that's an important note here. Again, with the Bitcoin backlog that exists right now, it could take a lot longer. That's why I recommend Ethereum. With Ethereum, you could certainly expect it to come out on the other side within about an hour or so. Uh, and so that's it. So now you guys know how to buy and sell. Uh, cryptocurrencies here on Coinbase. They're gonna be adding more cryptocurrencies, certainly. You guys know how to send them. Uh, they have some other options here. You don't need to mess with these too much. Uh, these are the main ones you use your dashboard, buy and sell, uh, and you're sending it as well. And so that's it. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. Uh, this, is a, this should be a good introduction for you guys to Coinbase to help you get rolling. Uh, yeah, I hope it's been helpful. I wish you guys the best, and I'll see you on the next one.